Hey, what is up guys? In this one, we're actually going to learn how to save some data. So when you quit your game and then you load it back up, you can actually say, um, load your last position, or maybe load your score, load the high score, and all that kind of good stuff. So pretty much anything you want to save. All right guys, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have first. So right here, we have a scene a 3D scenes and we also have a player that can move around freely. Um, another thing to notice is that we have a save and a load position up here. They do not work just yet but that's what we're going to take care of in this video. So in general there is many ways you can save your data. You can save it to a server, you can save it to a text file, you can um, write it inside of the registry which is what we're going to do right now. Um, there's really a lot of ways to do it but in this video we're going to do it using the registry. Uh, also know that this works on Android as well. I haven't tested it out on iOS but I'm pretty sure it also works. Okay so basically what we're going to do is we're going to be using um, this guy over here. We're going to move him around in the scene and we're going to be able to save his position and also load his position. And the way we're going to do it, first we need to set up, um, we need to set up our project a little bit. So since we're going to be saving to the registry, we need some places, uh, we need to, to have some information about this game uh, set first. Okay, so first off, we're going to go in Edit, Project Settings, and then in Player. So these are the player settings. On the right over here, or pretty much in your inspector, make sure you have a company name and also a product name. Mine is going to be N3K and product name is going to be the Save Tutorial. Now what this means is um, it's going to, when it's going to write in the registry, it's going to put your company name in a folder and then for every single game you have, you're going to have a separate folder and inside of that folder, all the uh, values that you save. Okay, so let's go ahead and save something and then I'm going to show you uh, where exactly you can find that. So we are going to create ourselves a new C-sharp script. So go here, create C-sharp script. I'm going to call this uh, save position, actually just save. And uh, after that, let's open it up inside of Mono Develop. And now, as always, we are going to clean this up and we're going to create two separate functions. The first one being public void uh, save position. So we're going to start by saving player's position. Now remember that you can put pretty much anything you want in there. So you could be saving the score, you could be saving uh, well, a high score, position, a player preference. Does he prefer to have like a green character or a red one? All that good stuff, you can save it under, um, under the registry if you want. So um, since I'm going to be putting this script on my player, then I know that transform.position.x or anyway, just transform the position is going to equal the position of my player. Now, um, how do we save this exactly? To save this, we are going to use the player pref sealed class. So we can do player pref, and then it gives you a bunch of functions that you can use. The one we're interested in is either set float or set string in our case. We could be setting int if you want to set a score, but um, let's start with an easy one. We're going to start with set float. So this takes in parameter a key and also a value. Now um, the key is pretty much what you're going to be using to access this very specific float that you're setting right now. So say you're calling this one oh, player x, then in order to access that value back when you do a load float, you're going to need to have the same exact key. So in our case, we're going to be setting the player position x. So uh, this, is going, this is going to be our key, and then the value is going to be transform.position.x, just like that. Now I'm also going to create another function, so public void load position. And in order to get that data, we are going to do player breaths dot get float, and then we send uh, the uh, the key that we put up here. So by doing this you are going to get the exact same value that you put in there. Just uh, remember that because we're going to be using it in a little moment. But for now let's just comment it out and see if this works. In order to call this function I'm going to be assigning a button to that. So 
let's go ahead and drag our script on the player object and then I'm going to take my menu where is it at over here this is my save button and under the unclick event I am going to put the player in there and then inside of its com component we're going to be using the save component that we just made and we made the save position public now let's just go ahead and do that for the load button as well since we are already there drag and drop the player in here and then save component load position okay now let's hit play on this and uh, let's go right say about here and hit save position we should be able to save the X position of our player so I'm clicking here so in case you're interested of knowing where exactly this value went uh, you can open up the registry by typing reg edit in your run menu and inside of here if we go back up here um, under H key current user and then software you're going to find the company name that you set in your player settings in my case this is N3K and then I'm going to expand that and these are all the project under this company's name so under save tutorial you can see over here that we save uh, automatically the unity graphic quality and just above that is my player X which is the value we just set okay so that's where our value went now let's try to shout it out in the console so down here we'll say debug.log and we're gonna do get float so well, not logger debug.log okay so now we're gonna go in game and if we look at the console down here I'm going to enable that and hit save position we should save our X now load this was our X position when we saved now let's move on the X axis right now I'm moving and about here is like it's it's about 30 so I'm going to hit save and then if we hit load you can see that it's the same exact value as up here okay so let's keep going let's keep um, putting pretty much the whole position value in there so player ref set float player Y and we're going to send him the transform.position.y same thing for the z over here and now we should be able to set these three floats okay and then the load position now we're actually going to teleport our player so let's go ahead and create a, a new vector 3 and uh, maybe call this save position or not even do that we're, we're going to be doing float x is equal to player breaths dot get float and we're gonna get the player x float just like this and let's duplicate that two more times this is y this is z and then we're gonna say transform that position is equal to a new vector 3 and we're gonna send him the x y and z okay now let's try this back in our game let's go ahead and save our position right here and now if I jump off and I hit load position I'm actually back to where I was before let's save this load load and as you can see we are actually loading the data so um, more exactly can this be used this could be used at the very beginning of your game so instead of actually just you know calling this when we hit the button we could be calling this when the game loads so um, say that you're playing a single player game you're making a single player game and you're going through your level when your player decides to quit so you look for the quit event for whenever your player decides to leave the game then you save its position and when you actually start that game you load its position back up so he's exactly where he was when he left this could be uh, this could be how you use it. You could be using it to save a score. You could be using it to save pretty much anything you want. So that's about it for this one, guys. Um, this is one of the many ways you can save your data for your game. You can save it to a server. You can save it to text files or whatever. But uh, we're gonna be covering those a little bit later on on the channel. So just stay tuned if you're interested in actually doing those. Uh, other than that, that's about it for this video guys. If you enjoyed it or if this was helpful to you, please leave it a like. If you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. 
and also subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.